Hi gang, here's the second video for Year 7 Algebra. In this video we're going to look at multiplying and dividing. But let's review what we've learnt so far. So we learnt that pronumerals can represent variables or constants. And we learnt that variables take on different values depending on the situation. We also learnt about the rules of algebra, which are we write x instead of 1x, we write 2xy instead of 2 times x times y. We use fraction notation for division. We can move terms around. And when we multiply a pronumeral by a number, the number goes first. So let's dive back in. When we multiply algebraic terms, we put the sign first. That means the plus or the minus sign. But shh, we don't write the plus sign, remember? We multiply the numbers and we put them next. And then we put the pronumerals in alphabetical order. So let's simplify 2 times a times 6. Remember, simplify means make simpler. We can't just take the time signs out. Do you know what's wrong with that one? The 6 has got to come out the front. So instead, we're going to multiply the 2 by the 6, which gives us 12, and put the a on the end. 12a. How about this one? Negative 3 times 5 times d. Okay, again, we can't just take the times as out. This is not equal to negative 35d. So what are we going to do? I'm going to put the negative out the front and then multiply 3 by 5, which is 15, and then put the pronumeral on the end. Negative 15d. 3m times 2n. Okay, remember this is 3 lots of m multiplied by 2 lots of n. So it's okay to do 3 times 2, which is 6. And then I'm going to have mn on the end. Now this one here has got some brackets in it, but they're only being used to group the negative with the 3. So we can do this question. This is a negative multiplied by a positive, which is a negative. Then I'm going to do 3 times 4 is 12, and then I'm going to put the pronumeral on the end. Negative 2x multiplied by negative 8y. Okay, let's do the signs first. Negative times a negative is a positive, so I'm not going to write that. 2 times 8 is 16. x times y is xy. Now we're being asked to simplify fully. What do you think that means? Well, look at that expression there. We could simplify this by taking out this time sign. That's a simpler version. But I can do more, can't I? I could take out this times and this times. So remember, I need to multiply these numbers. So in simplest form, it's going to be 8bc. How about this one? Well, I could just take out the timeses. But is that the best way to write that? We should write it in alphabetical order. C, D, E. 3M times 2N times negative 5P. Let's start with the sign. Negative times a positive times a positive is a negative. 5 twos are 10 times 3 is 30. And then our pronumals are already in alphabetical order. How about this one? 4m times m. So we could just take out the time sign and we'd get 4mm. But there's a better way to write that. Do you know what it is? Remember how 3 times 3 can be written as 3 squared? Well, m times m can be written as m squared. So 4m squared is in simplest form. And last one, 2a times negative 4b times a. All right, let's start with the signs. I've got a negative here and I don't have any other negatives. Remember the only way to get rid of a negative is to multiply it by another one. So we're going to have a negative in the answer. Now let's do the numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. And then the pronumerals in alphabetical order. Let's start with the a's. a times a is a squared. And then finally we've got a b on the end. And so that's the answer. Negative 8 a squared b. Okay, so let's move on to division. Now when we divide algebraic terms, 
we cancel common factors. And these factors can be pronumerals or numbers. We always use fraction notation. So let's have a look at this one. 12x divided by x, we're going to write it like this. Now we can see a common factor there of x, so we can cancel that out. And our answer is going to be 12. How about this one? 12x divided by 6x. Let's write it in fraction notation. So I can see the common factor of x, so we can cancel that out. And I've also got a common factor of 6. 6 into 6 goes once. 6 into 12 goes twice. And what we've got left there is 2 over 1. We don't write it like that, do we? We write it just as 2. How about this one? 10ab divided by 5c. Okay, into fraction notation I've got 10ab over 5c. And the only thing that cancels here is the 5. 5 goes into 5 once and goes into 10 twice. And so our answer is 2ab over c. Now this is one instance where it's much better to write it in fraction notation because whilst it might be, look easy to do it when it's in this form, you may not pick up that the C is actually on the denominator. Okay, how about this one? 6xy squared divided by 3xy. Into fraction notation, the x's are going to cancel and 3 goes into 6 twice. Now what do you think about this y squared divided by y? y squared is y times y. So if I divide by y, then one of those is going to cancel. So I'm actually going to end up just with a y left up on top. So our answer will be 2y. Okay, last one. Negative 5ab divided by negative 10a into fraction form. Okay, the a's cancel. 5 goes into 10 two times. Now what's a negative divided by a negative? It's a positive, isn't it? So effectively, these negatives cancel as well. What are we left with? B on top over 2. And that's our answer. Let's do one more. ABC divided by negative 6C. So let's write it in fraction notation. And the only things that actually cancel here are the C's is going to leave us with AB on negative 6. But here's the thing, we never leave a minus on the denominator. Okay, Think of it like it's a plastic bottle full of air and you're trying to push that under water. It's going to float up. And we've got two choices, we can either put the minus in front of the fraction or we can put it on the top of the fraction. Okay, so let's put it all together. What happens if we've got times and divide together in a question. Well, we're just going to follow our order of operations, which says that we do division and multiplication in order from left to right. So let's simplify 3x times 2x divide 6. So we'll do the first bit. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And I've already turned it over into fraction notation. What cancels? The 6's. Answer, x squared. So now it's time to practice. Press pause on the video and have a go at these four questions. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. So we're going to do the division and multiplication in order. So we're going to start with doing 2x divided by x. So we can see there that the x's are going to cancel and I'm going to be left with 2 times 4, which is 8y. Okay, how about this one here? So I'm going to do multiplication first. That's going to give me 10 ABC divided by 10. And I can see that the 10s are going to cancel. So the answer is ABC. Okay, the third question. So we've got the division here of two bracketed terms. So this one's going to go on the numerator and this one's going to go on the denominator. So I'm going to tidy this one up first. So I've got a negative times a negative, which is a positive which we don't write, 4 times 2, which is 8x. So I've got 8x over negative 24mn. And the only thing that's going to cancel here is the 8. 8 is going to go into 24 three times, which leaves me with x divided by negative 3mn. And remember, the negative sign has to float up. 
last one. So here I'm going to multiply 2a squared by b and then multiply it by 4c and then I'm going to put this 8b squared on the denominator. So let's do this here. We've got 2 fours are 8, a squared b c. All right, we've got a bit of cancelling we can do here. The 8s cancel. And this b here will go into one of the b's on the denominator. All right, what's left? We've got a squared c on top and b on the bottom. And that's our answer. And that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about adding and subtracting like terms.